Hello and welcome to Minerik U, training in 60 seconds. In this series, I'll cover popular ways of achieving multi-axis control of machines, as well as some of the technical trade-offs. Relay logic, PLCs, and PCs have long been used to control machines, especially with collections of discrete and analog devices, like switches, sensors, and indicators. When electric motors are added on the machines, whether AC, DC, stepper, or servo, each motor represents an axis of physical movement. The higher the number of motor axes, the more likely the need for complex or coordinated movement or motion control. Beyond simple turn on, turn off, any control over speed, torque, or position will require that a drive be used with each motor. The controller will need to command the motor drives, and each drive in turn varies power to the motor it's connected to. As with any market segment, there are a variety of types of master controllers available that can potentially do the job. However, controllers often differ in their ability to command and take feedback from motor axes and the physical movements that motors make. And the devil can often be in the details when making the choice. We'll look deeper in upcoming videos. That does it for this training video. Thanks for watching.